A major renovation underway in one of the busiest buildings in downtown Memphis this morning. Thanks for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Caitlin Locker Bay. I'm John Paul. It's happening at 2 and 1 Poplar where currently people are sharing spaces, but that will change here in just days with the first tenant making a big move. Local 24 News reporter Dave Detling live outside 2 and 1 Poplar, now officially named the Walter Bailey Criminal Justice Center. Dave. Hey, good morning. Uh, like you mentioned, that name change uh, official. I have a feeling a lot of people will still be referring to the, this place as 201 Poplar, but nonetheless, uh, that name change will be present in and around the building. And uh, if you've already passed through these doors, no doubt you've seen uh, the construction equipment. And uh, like you said, there will be a new tenant moving in very shortly. So let's get right to it. The first big move will be for the district attorney's office, which will relocate to the 11th floor. Uh, we'll also have staff members on the 10th floor as well. So why the need for the upgrade? County officials say the building is close to 30 years old, and recently there have been serious security problems at the facility. As we've reported, uh, those threats have been against some members of the DA's office uh, who currently have offices on the ground floor. So, of course, uh, this will move them to the 10th and 11th floor. The 12-story project will also be one of the most complicated renovations for the city because uh, you can't simply shut down courtrooms and other offices. The building is about 30 years old, and uh, it's just from a standpoint of operational and standpoint of people. If you notice that over the years, nobody has actually moved out except the police. And the only reason the police moved out is because they need somewhere else to go. Well, we have public defenders, we have district attorney's office, we have other individuals within the juvenile, the justice center that is actually sharing offices with each other. And, of course, that will all change with this 10-phase uh, project. The price tag, $70 million, completion timeline by 2027. We're live in downtown Memphis this morning. Dave Detling, Good Day Memphis.